Thompson Barry News Group. Author of dot dot dot. <laughs> Almost did it. See, um, wh why were you guys so focused tonight, and why do you think it clicked early? There's a sense of urgency. Um, obviously, the opportunity to uh, close a, a series out, and there's a a nice energy to us before the game. Um, kind of loose but focused and it showed in the first six minutes that we could hopefully you know establish ourselves continue the momentum that we built in the series and our defensive intensity and focus was the reason that we got it done tonight um, and that first we didn't let them score for a while and we turned our, our defense into offense um, and it was, a, it was a fun way to play and you know close out the series uh, Malika Andrews, Associated Press. Uh, Steph, can you talk a little bit about what having Kevin Durant back on the floor uh, meant to you guys and how that affected your play? He's obviously a big part of what we do. And when we can have you know, everybody back and effective on the floor, we're obviously a better team. And we needed, I think we needed that kind of, um, his, or his presence as we go through the playoffs for him to get a rhythm, um, you know, get his feet underneath him. He's kind of been in and out of the lineup last last month and a half. So uh, I know it's big for him to get out there and, you know, sh show some, uh, some energy for us and, and feel good about his body. And the rest of the play kind of took care of itself. Ethan Krause, ESPN. Uh, Steph, obviously you gave the game ball to uh, Steve after game three. I'm wondering, uh, did he talk to you guys before the game or after this game? Uh, he mentioned something after tonight about where we are in our, in our journey. Um, you know, one series down and obviously playing, you know, a, a great Portland team who had a, an amazing season and finished out the, you know, obviously the regular season strong to even just get in the playoffs and um, commended them on, on what, what they were about. Us taking care of our, our responsibilities in this, this series and, and and doing what we did, and, and now we uh, have a little bit of rest and looking forward to uh, you know figuring out who we're going to play next round. But just understand the perspective of what we've accomplished, but what, what we have in front of us, and this is uh, just you know one step in the in the journey. Anthony Slater, Barry News Group. Another of those clips surfaced of you shooting the three and turning way before it even went in. I mean, when you are you 100% when you release those threes that are going in, or are you? When you're looking the other way, you're still a little bit worried it, it might miss. That was one of the, I felt the, probably the the shot that felt the best in a long, long, long time. So I felt pretty good. I've actually missed some where I've done that before. So I'm not flawless when it comes to that. Get a, uh, but you know I had, I had it going, and and uh, and when you find a rhythm like that, and you can find those open shots, uh, it's obviously a good feeling. On the left. Uh, Jacob Palmer, San Francisco Examiner. Steph, you said that you guys entered the game with a sense of urgency. What was it that created that for you guys? We had an opportunity to close the series out. You don't want to let go of the rope or give the you other know, team any kind of confidence or momentum. We had done a great job of putting ourselves in a great position coming into game four with an opportunity to uh, move on to the next round. And I think the way that we showed up in the first quarter you know, said a lot about uh, – just our mindset and focus, so we got to keep that up and uh, understand the way that we played tonight on both ends of the floor is a great recipe for success. You know, down the road, um, moving the ball, d swarming on defense, turning, like I said, turning uh, defense into easy offense, and using all the talent that we have on the floor. Was the opportunity to rest consideration? Oh uh, yeah, for I me. Mean, Yes, it's you know we understand where the other series is, and you know I don't know how long that'll go. So when you can take care of your business, that's that's the only thing you can control really. And um, it was good for us to kind of come out and and close it out tonight, and and now you know look forward to taking advantage of the uh, schedule that we have. Scott Osler, San Francisco Chronicle. Steph, when you came down in the first quarter and took that like 25 foot pull up and transition way behind the arc, is there something be like a statement to that other than just letting it fly? Uh, which I don't know which one. Uh, it was on, on a break and you pulled up 
just just be on the, the circle? No, right it's away. just a, a read. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. It's just a read where you see the defense re retreating. We had scored, uh, I think, maybe two or three straight possessions and got two or three straight stops. So it was kind of one of those. I hadn't made any shots. It was like a heat <laughs> check type type of situation. And you just have confidence let it go. Um, nothing more to that, really. All right. Steph, this is from Tencent. Coach Stats just mentioned you guys probably even better than the last season. Even last season, you guys had these three wins or whatever. Do you feel the same way? You guys are even better than the last season? We're more experienced, and um, you know we have we have a different different roster, obviously. But you know the the what the things that we do well um, when we are clicking, we're a powerful team. So. We will hopefully that shows up, you know, every series that we that we play and put ourselves in great chance to uh, to realize a goal down the stretch of this playoff. So, um, I mean, we're very confident about who we are and and, and how we're going to be successful.